you know, 2000 Buddha fans have got to go there and hopefully, hopefully roars onto a victory, but you know what it is, it's, it's hard to see now. I can't take it at Norwich, I can't stand Norwich, it's that club that just irritates me. Yo guys, what is going on? I'm back to another video on this Friday, the hottest day of the year. So yes, I'm absolutely piling sat here recording this one. Slightly different, I'm normally sat more over there, but I just thought I'd turn the camera and record it quickly. Um, as it isn't a very long video, it's just a bit of an update video, of course, as we all know. Of course, you know, the season has finished and of course, class window is open. So, a lot of rumours go around and of course, I always take the Borough 24-7 news. Most days, to be honest with you, because that really tells you the insights of, you know, middle football club, what's happening. And it just basically reveals everything that's sort of happening in and around the club. So if anybody actually wants to know more in depth about transfers, possible rumours and etc. Go to Borough 24-7 News on Google. And literally on there you'll find tab after tab after tab. And it'll just be on there. Um, and it, it literally updates every 10 minutes as well. And there's loads of articles. So like I say, if you want to go and check out anything I'm about to say about transfer rumours, you can do so. Borough 24-7 News on Google. Feel free to spend the afternoon reading up on transfer rumours as, you know, we're one of them that I haven't actually written down, but I did see just a moment ago, 22-year-old Portsmouth goalkeeper did sign a three-and-a-half-year deal, though, in January of Portsmouth. So if he comes to Borough, um, listen, it'll be a pretty pricey transfer fee because, of course, you know, he's under a new contract or possible loan. Um, I think he got about 25 appearances last season, which is decent, to be fair. What's that, like, half the season he got? So... I reckon that's pretty decent for him. Um, I know he's second choice goalkeeper, he's not first choice goalkeeper. The name of him, I don't even know what the heck it was. It just said 22 year old possible goalkeeper. But, you know, me reading into it, it didn't really say much clarification about a possible transfer anyway. It just sort of said about him being on the transfer list, but then not really wanted to sell him because of course he's under a three year contract. So, yeah, listen, that one there, I didn't really bother reading too much into because I thought, well, it realistically, it probably won't happen. But watch it happen now. You know, I've just said that it won't happen, but so watch it happen. Three possible transfers, or should I say two, and one that we've actually pulled out of a deal for. Now, the one that we pulled out of a deal for is a little bit confusing for me personally to sort of understand. Kiefer Moore, or Kiefer and Moore, as people call him, former Barnsley forward, now of course is a Wigan. Wigan are now, of course, you know, obviously League One for this point being, unless their sort of deduction gets overturned. Now, the Kiefer and Moore, Wigan striker, 10 goals last season, which isn't bad, but it isn't great. Borough were interested, but Borough actually pulled out the deal because it's too expensive. Now, what I seen a few weeks back was that Millwall had placed a bid that had been accepted for 1.8 million. And then I'm seeing that Borough pulled out because it's too expensive. Now, apparently that deal with Millwall was all paper talk or something like that, and apparently it's not going to happen. And I ensure that, you know, Warnock's going to get every single transfer that he possibly wants, hopefully, anyway. Um, but yeah, Kiefer the Moore, we're no longer interested. We have pulled out of that deal. Um, as it's too expensive, so I don't know how much you know Borough got to spend inside the transfer window. I'm sure, nobody really knows in depth, uh, you know, apart from the chairman himself. But listen, I don't really know on that side of things. But um, let's just understand that you know Warnock is there, and I believe on Monday he comes back to Middlesbrough, and uh, I believe he's trying to ensure every single player that he wants to try and get. Um, you know, he's on the phone non-stop to Steve Gibson, probably about players and funds and etc. So it could be a very, very exciting window for all of us. Um, but I guess we have to wait and see. Now, now the next possible one that we are rumoured with, and I've seen this one about three or four times now, is Josh Windass. He was on loan the season just gone to Sheffield Wednesday. And of course, he's former Rangers player. Um, I've seen a few people saying that realistically, Josh Windass would never ever left with Rangers. But apparently Rangers want to re-sign him. Sheffield Wednesday want to make it a permanent deal for him. And of course, Borough are now interested. I would take Josh Windass. I really would. I think, you know, I still think he's got a lot to offer. Um, you know, of course, you know, he's the son of absolute legend of mine, Dean Windass. Um, so, yeah, no, I think, you know, I think Josh Windass definitely got something to offer for us. You know, especially on the wings. You know, quick, skillful player. So, interesting development on that one. It didn't really say about transfer value. I don't know how much the guy's worth. I uh, don't even know if he's even on a free or whatever. So, literally didn't say much about it. Just said Josh Windass. And, of course, you know, he's interested. Uh, or should I say, you know, clubs are interested. Rangers, Sheffield Wednesday and Middlesbrough. Last one to bring you. And I swear I'd report on this one every single year. Jordan Jones. Now, this name I've said about five different times inside these transfer videos. But I once again apparently linked with a with a move to Jordan Jones. He's valued at five hundred and forty thousand, and Stoke, Blackburn, and Borough are all interested. Now, Rangers obviously signed him. 
Um, and of course, this season just gone, he played 14 games and got two appearances and didn't score a goal. Now, Blackburn obviously interested, Stoker interested. I can see them two sort of teams being interested. But uh, maybe it's Borough do need a winger, but would Jordan Jones come back? I know there was a little bit of drama there, wasn't there? You know what I mean? There was a little bit before he did go you know, away to Scotland. So I don't know if he'll actually come back or whatever. I don't really know that sort of movements like for him um no doubt you know no doubt that jordan's obviously got a bit of skill behind him northern ireland international as well so you know he's definitely got something there um inside his locker but you know it'll be interesting to see where he goes this season that is it though for the transfer video any more sort of interesting developments over the next coming days or week or two weeks of course you know i'll bring it to you as i always do every week i basically do about two transfer videos a week um because this one there's that much paper talk and that much sort of rubber stamped paperwork going on Everybody needs to know about which. So that is that is the transfer developments as it goes. Kiefer Miller, we're no longer interested in. Jordan Jones, valued at 540000 we are interested in. And, of course, Josh Windass is one that I would love to see Butter bring in. Uh, I really do think he's a talented footballer. If you people enjoyed this one, hit the like button, subscribe. We are so, so close to 3K, so please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Up the Butter.